the doors are done. Let's explore how we got to this point. So we've got the first coat on the door here, and you can see it went on pretty well, but you can see the shadows coming through from the base layer of what was originally on the panel. And that's why we have to put a second coat on. Uh, we're letting this one dry, and you can see over here I've started on this one, and the same thing's gonna happen here, but another 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so, we'll be done with this door, let those dry. Then I actually have to take that vehicle over to one of the big box stores and pick up uh, some door hardware, not door hardware, uh, a router template to take the strike plate and insert plate out of the wood there. Uh, there's a kit you can get and I'm going to pick up one of those, like 10 bucks. It'll make life a lot easier to uh, router those out so we can get the latch and everything to fit correctly. And then uh, gotta pick up a trash can too for this garage. The one that I'm using now is upstairs, but we don't have one down here. So I'm just gonna pick up one of those smaller brute ones. They make those at about two thirds of the size of that one. And that'll be good to put in here in the garage. But I digress. So uh, we are going to continue with this journey and we'll give you an update very soon. I have finished all of the painting on both doors for the closet on the front and the back and it looks really good as you can see in the video here so what we are going to do now is take both doors and hang them up on the frame upstairs in the closet now that the frame and the molding around the flooring is completely done and finished and then we're gonna see how it looks up in that room and determine if I need to do some touch-up paint on each one of the doors. Now, the reason why we're doing that is, as most of you probably know, that when you paint something outside and then you bring it inside, the color and the hue of the item that you painted seems to change a little bit. And you can actually see a little bit clearer on the inside because of the type of light it is compared to natural light outside. So. We'll be able to see if there's any shades coming through from the base uh, color. And then if needed, we'll simply touch that up with the uh, trim coat and uh, call it a day. We have completed the doors and they are installed and work great. Check this out. Simply open it like this. They stay in place and look fantastic. To close them, all you do is, because they're French doors, as I stated before, you gotta line up the, I'm gonna do it one-handed here, but you gotta line up the strike plate with the hinge, and then it closes. And there you have it, all in place. The last thing to do is to get this TV mount mounted up and check this out. Bam, 50 inch TV. So that is the last piece. It's dark out. This is gone a little longer than I expected. We're about a day and a half behind. So Jasmine's gonna spend one more night as a cellar dweller. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we have officially completed daughter number one's bedroom. Take a look around. So we got the drapes up. They are blackout drapes, so it'll give her an opportunity to sleep in in the mornings. Those went in very nice, actually. We hit the studs on every single one of these, which is great. And they look pretty good uh, there. So uh, that's gonna be really nice once uh, she gets to sleep in here. Uh, we finished up all the touch-up work up on the shelves, all along the baseboards and quarter round. I showed you earlier that this closet door is complete. Looks absolutely fantastic. Got the brush uh, 
oil bronze uh, hardware on there to match the door over there. And we got her TV up. That is completely up and running now. Uh, it's at the right level, so when she's laying in bed, it's not too high. You know, getting neck cramps. Uh, so we're going to see how that works once we get the bed in here. And then one final piece to make it official, which I always do on all my jobs, is the final turns and or turn of the doorstop that is sitting here. Also oil bronze, by the way. We're going to do that now to make it official that the room is complete. One and a couple of turns here. Get it nice and tight. And that's all she wrote. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, she gets to move in tomorrow. As you can see, if you look out the window, it's nice and dark out, time for bed. And, uh, and uh, that'll be it. With that being said, it is time to move on to the hallway and the bonus room. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.